hotels can still hold meetings with a maximum capacity of 30 people, failure to which the license of these hotels will be revoked. This is according to Tourism Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala, who said that the ministry will be policing the sector and institutions that will be found contravening the Ministry of Health regulations will have their permits revoked for one year. He added that the closing time for restaurants is 9 p.m., not 7 p.m. And by 9.30 p.m., everybody should be out of the restaurant or bar, failure to which this will result in the suspension of licenses of these entities. With the fourth wave of the COVID-19 pandemic battering Kenya, the tourism sector is under scrutiny. CS Najib Balala says that the sector needs to be at the forefront of mitigating the spread through strict adherence to the protocols. As well as we have agreed, particularly with pubs and restaurants who break the law, we will shame them, we'll have a list of shame so that people do not uh, destroy the sector because of a few greedy people. And we will, take, we will take action on those individuals. Perak is here, they have committed to us, and they said whoever of their members or non-members in that sector break the law, we will name them and we'll take action. And I said it very clear that even their licenses will be cancelled for one year. But with the recent pronouncements of banning public gatherings, Balala says hotels can still hold meetings, but with a prescribed number and form. We allow meeting of smaller numbers and with a regulated uh, form of compliance with the protocols. So those small meetings should be taking place, maximum 30 in hotels. Uh, and a, for example, if you have a dorm and you want to call a meeting of a thousand people, that's not allowed. Restaurants, on the other hand, he says, should be closed at 9 p.m. and not 7 p.m. with any violations leading to cancellation of licenses. And uh, we are glad that uh, uh, last week uh, the announcement uh, did not declare another lockdown because uh, we are seeing the industry beginning uh, to recover slowly. So for us, uh, it's just about how can we then deliver uh, our services in a safe manner. Kenya's tourism sector has been limping from the attack by the COVID-19 pandemic, but the industry players says that there is light at the end of the tunnel, with traditional source markets having heightened vaccination contributing to a resurgence in tourism locally. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.